टू पॉइंट फोर किंगडम प्लांटे किंगडम प्लांटे इंक्लूड्स ऑल यू कैरियोटिक क्लोरोफिल कंटेनिंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स कॉमनली कॉल्ड प्लांट्स अ फ्यू मेंबर्स आर पार्शियली हेट्रोट्रोफिक सच एज द इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट्स और पैरासाइट्स ब्लैडोवर्ट एंड वीनस फ्लाइट्रैप आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट्स एंड कैस्कटा इज अ पैरासाइट The plant cells have an eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplasts and cell wall mainly made of cellulose. You will study the eukaryotic cell structure in detail in chapter 8. Plantae includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Life cycle of plants has two distinct phases. the diploid sporophytic and the haploid gametophytic that alternate with each other the lengths of the haploid and diploid phases and whether these phases are free living or dependent on others vary among different groups in plants this phenomenon is called alternation of generation you will study further details of this kingdom in chapter 3 2.5 Kingdom Animalia This kingdom is characterized by heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms that are multicellular and the cells lack cell walls They directly or indirectly depend on plants for food They digest their food in an internal cavity and store food reserves as glycogen or fat the mode of nutrition is holozoic by ingestion of food they follow a definite growth pattern and grow into adults that have a definite shape and size higher forms show elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanism most of them are capable of locomotion The sexual reproduction is by copulation of male and female followed by embryological development. Salient features of various phyla are described in chapter 4. 2.6 Virus, viroids and lichens. In the five kingdom classification of Vitaka There is no mention of some acellular organisms like viruses and viroids and lichens. These are briefly introduced here. All of us who have suffered the ill effects of common cold or flu know what effects viruses can have on us even if we do not associate it with our condition. Viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not truly living if we understand living as those organisms that have a cell structure the viruses are non cellular organisms that are characterized by having an inert crystalline structure outside the living cell once they infect a cell they take over the machinery of the host cell to replicate themselves killing the host would you call viruses living or non living the name virus that means venom or poisonous fluid was given by pasteur dj ivanovsky in 1892 recognized certain microbes as casual organisms of the mosaic disease of tobacco these were found to be smaller than bacteria because they passed through bacteria proof filters m w b j renek in 1898 demonstrated that the extract of the infected plants of tobacco could cause infection in healthy plants and called the fluid as contagium vivum fluidum that is infectious living fluid w m stanley in 
showed that viruses could be crystallized and crystals consist largely of proteins. They are inert outside the specific host cell. Viruses are obligate parasites. In addition to proteins, viruses also contain genetic material. In addition to proteins, virus also contain genetic materials that could be either RNA or DNA. No virus contains both RNA and DNA. A virus is a nucleoprotein and the genetic material is infectious. In general, viruses that infect plants have single stranded RNA and viruses that infect animals have either single or double stranded RNA or double stranded DNA. Bacterial viruses or bacteriophages, that is, viruses that infect the bacteria, are usually double stranded DNA viruses. The protein code called capsid, made of small subunits called caspomeres, protects the nucleic acid. These caspomeres are arranged in helical or polyhedral geometric forms. Viruses cause diseases like mumps, smallpox, herpes and influenza. AIDS in humans is also caused by a virus. In plants, the symptoms can be mosaic formation, leaf rolling or curling, yellowing and vein clearing, dwarfing and stunted growth. Viroids In 1971, T.O. Diner discovered a new infectious agent that was smaller than viruses and caused potato spindle tuber disease. It was found to be a free RNA. It lacked the protein coat that is found in viruses, hence the name viroid. The RNA of the viroid was of low molecular weight. Lichen Lichens Lichens are symbiotic associations that is mutually useful associations between algae and fungi. The algal component is known as phycobiont and fungal component as mycobiont which are autotrophic and heterotrophic respectively. Algae prepare food for fungi and fungi provide shelter and absorb mineral nutrients and water for its partner. So close is their association that if one saw a lichen in nature, one would never imagine that they had two different organisms within them. Lichens are very good pollution indicators. They do not grow in polluted areas.